my horse's name is Doc Bertie's Dream, but we call him Bert. And he was um, brought here because I noticed when I was riding him last year that he was breaking gait when I was going in a certain direction. And Dr. Richardson operated on him in late April, and we're here today to uh, see the extent of the healing process. Well, robotic CT is definitely uh, an innovation for the University of Pennsylvania. Before this was here, he would have had to be placed under general anesthesia, so completely anesthetized, unconscious, um, placed on a table, and then positioned in a small stationary CT scanner where we could fit his leg into the open bore of the CT scanner. Today instead, basically, we did a couple of tests just to make sure that the robots weren't going to impinge upon him in any way. Um, we gave him a small amount of sedation, and we walked him onto our platform here. And then basically we take a 30 second scan around the area of interest. And so we're really in at the ground level of trying to develop this combination of technologies in order to better serve the horse. And ultimately we want that to serve our human friends too. We think this will be parlayed into human use where you could have the person, you know, tell them to be in different postures and recover a CT image with them in a different posture. The only way you can assess the specific area that was injured in BERT is with CT. It doesn't really show up very well in any other type of imaging. The images look good. It seems to be more than 90% healing, and he looks quite comfortable, and I'd say he's good to go. I couldn't have asked for a better horse for my first horse, because I didn't know how to ride at first, but I've gotten much better over the last few years, and I'm looking forward to riding him again.